team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Dick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Texas Tech Red Raiders and the Illinois Fighting Illini. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Fighting Illini should be looking at a tough fight tonight, Dick. What have they got to do to win this thing? They've got to stick to their game plan and focus on these keys. First, get the ball on the interior. See if he can get their big men into foul trouble. Next, make good decisions with the rock. Don't turn it over, baby. Thirdly, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. On the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Takes the shot, way off target. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He makes a nice shot fake. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. He can't shake the pressure. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He shoots from outside, drains the shot. Trying to feed inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Top of the circle. Questionable shot selection there. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Pull-up jumper from way out. Number 55 in the paint. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 55 comes up with it. Dumps it in. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting post position, good angle, and then the drop step. They look to get it to the inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Trying to go inside. Number 55 handles the feed. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Contact causes the shot to come off. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. There's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That's been moved. Not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dribble gives it up. He puts up the tray. Way off target. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. The Red Raiders go to the line for the first time in this game. First one is good.
He missed it. He takes the rebound. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Look at that spacing. Number 13 handles the pass for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. On the outside. Looking for the foul. There was no doubt about that one. away the pass. The point guard receives the pass. They work it around the perimeter. The skip pass is picked off. Gave it up. Number 50 receives the ball. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Time to pick up the defense here now. He shoots from long range. He's got to pass those off there. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Tries for two. Scorches the net. Tries to get the D to bite. Double team now. Bad angle. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. Number 13 bakes the shot. Pushing that basketball. He attempts the trifecta way off target. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. For two, he's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. With the free one. You, you can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing, like football special situations, you got to be able to execute there. He hits it. Perfectly executed. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Number 42 with the foul. Second team foul. 
The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. With the free throw. Concentrate. Got to concentrate on that free throw line. He makes it. He misses the third shot. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. Second one, no good. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Slam jam, bam, up and away, the elevator man. Side. He shoots from left of the circle. He can't get the bucket to fall. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he'll kick it back outside. The ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. The ball goes out of bounds. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. Number 55 is animated and ready to go. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. He goes to the line for the first time. Rims out. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Second shot is no good. They're not getting it done from the free throw line tonight, Dick. It always seems like these close games, Brad, come down to free throw shooting. Let's see how this poor display affects them. He goes for three. Texas Tech have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. the front court oh and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul oh that's a bad bad foul right there Brad when you're talking about the Big 12 people often mention Texas Kansas Oklahoma yeah Brad they do but it'll be interesting to see how or if the recent coaching changes will affect the style of play that the Big 12 is known for now the high screen what do you think Dick they need a timeout here Brad Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Basket falls despite the contact. Entry pass in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. 
Both teams are looking to get something going here. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Three way off target. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, the good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. for two and he missed for the bucket great play to take that to the basket Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. For two, they just can't seem to get a nice look at the goal tonight. They have to be patient on offense and find some easy hoops. And that's basic. Pump thanks. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Top of the circle, off the rim, and no good. Jumps into the defender. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 25 is called for the foul. Third team foul. The post flashes up high if he wants it. And a slam. They come with a double team to stop it. Goes up for two. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? And now they'll bring it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Fakes a jumper. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Way off target. Not good. Not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. That's a 7 0 run. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Looking for a good shot. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball with a goal. Strong. Cue the rewind button, boys.
action. Take a look right here. There it is. She's getting out of here. Thou shalt not enter thy lane. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big crowd. Look at this, Mr. Nestle. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. Number 21 gets his first minute. Very strategic substitution, Brad. Good decision by the coach. the arc they're working around the perimeter and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot they're allowing no fast break baskets dump it inside just too slow to stay with his man dick and he picks up the foul well two mistakes number one he lets him get the ball in that deep and number two he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot kicks it out he didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They've left him completely alone. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Nice high post screen. He takes the board. Gave it up in the paint. There's the trap. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. He up fakes. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Well, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Here's a double team. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Drops the bucket despite the harm. There's a double team waiting there. Dick are doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Got a nice screen. Goes for the deep one. Way off target. There's the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Up fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Side. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. He'll visit the charity strike. First shot is no good. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar? You're too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. Misses the second shot. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Had a momentary look from three-point land.
Picked out of the air. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Shot clock is dead. That's basic. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Gave it up. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Red Raiders are up by seven. Well, Dick, so far we've got a close one. Any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half? Check out some of the inside play we witnessed in the first half. We saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. Second half about to get underway. Let's go down to the action. Illinois has a lot, a lot more turnovers than I'm used to seeing them have in a first half, Dick. I must admit it, I'm still trying to figure out their game plan. Do they think they can win without any offensive possessions? It would take a miracle for that to happen. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Fakes the shot. And he'll kick it back outside. He launches a three. Tickles the twine. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Steals the pass. There's a steal. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. And now the fadeaway jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. Picked off from the top of the key. Way off target. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Looking for a good shot. For the deuce. No good from the field. And the ball goes out of play. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Double team now, bad angle. For two, off the rim and no good. Steals the ball. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him to go on. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Get rid of it, Brad. 
shoots from the top of the key. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step with the low up. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. He steps up to the line. Concentration. Got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. It's his second. They stripped him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. That's a 7 nothing run. Dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. They'll work it around the arc. Kicks off the lazy pass. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball. Seals the defense off and explodes to the basket. At the foul line. Gets the first. Gets his second. They scored nine in a row. That's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. He gets the rejection. The power forward gets the ball. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow.
for the bucket. He nails the bucket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Can't get the shot to go. He fires away. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Spacing. Takes the pass in the paint for two, and he scores it off the glass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Good athletic move. Very athletic. Great athleticism. Going to the line. He gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. He attempts a jump hook. Illinois are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Pressure, great double team, really explosive. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. He buries it. <laughs> On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. The center with the ball. Tries for two. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. He launches a three. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. They work the perimeter. The small forward takes the feed. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that, he rejects it. That's a great shot, man. He's like the human eraser. Get that baby out of the lane. The small forward takes the pass. Takes away the pass. Pump it inside. The shooting guard gets the pass. Way off target. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, this is what people wanted to see, a close championship game. The action and intensity has really picked up down here, guys. Everyone wants to see a great finish. All right, thanks, Aaron. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, took a chance, and he lost, baby. Illinois are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. There they come with a double team to stop it. Watch here! I 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He shoots from the elbow, rims out. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. From right at the circle, too strong. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. They work it around the perimeter. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. Controlling the ball. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Gets it back out. Gave it up. Robs him of the ball. Number one is seemingly at an emotional low point at this moment, Dick. Brad, he's at what many people call a fun. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around. Shot rejected. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Turnaround jumper. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. Here's a double team. He looks for the bomb. He can't get the bucket to fall. On the outside. Outside jumper. Off the rim and no good. Nick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Nick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. You've got that right, Brad. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Misses the first. Makes the second. Texas Tech are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Look at that spacing. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. It's stolen. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Defenders right up on him. On the dribble, gives it up with the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. There's the trap. Take it away. No foul on the steal. And that's what he gets for careless ball handling, Brad. Takes it off him. Here they go into transition. Tries for two. Up, easy one. a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Oh, 
Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on the defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Working it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Texas Tech are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Here. They're really starting to click on offense. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Stolen away. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Gave it up. Fakes the shot. Step out on that screener. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that, baby. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Side. For two, off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Number 25 is pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. No doubt. Misses the second shot. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. it up. Number three is whistled for the foul. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots and they're making them gap. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. He grabs the rebound. team now that angle he puts it in with contact and all something inside up fake sets the screen for his teammate he launches the bomb rims out Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. That shot makes it a one point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Look at that spacing. He goes for the trifecta. He drains the bucket. Timeout's been called. Let's check in with Aaron. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Back to the live action we go. Two-point game. Gave it up for the deuce, and he scores 
despite the hat. See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. Has the screen up on top. In and out. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker, elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. needed breather with that timeout. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Better fall quick. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Shot clock is dead. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. He has one and one. Misses the front end of the one and one. Looking for a good shot. Up and inside. He pulls the trigger. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Illinois came, they saw, and they conquered their first-round foe, Dick. I tell you, Brad, watch out for this team, because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now they shift into gear for that second-round matchup. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.